Hello again, in this episode we're understanding smooth and flat shading and we're going to look at the best way for smooth shading especially so you can export your models to other programs like game engines and have them understand which edges are sharp and which edges are smooth. This is all part of a Blender Basics training course which you can find on gabbit.co.uk see the link in the description and the site will eventually have lots of tutorials going right through from beginner to advanced levels all for free. Also there's a discord server, see a link in the description so if you go on there I can help you out with your issues or there's plenty of other people that are very experienced that can help you out there too. So here I am with the basic startup file. I'm going to get rid of the timeline to make sure we can see easier. So I click on those three lines in the corner, click and drag upwards and then downwards and it'll pull this window down there. I'm going to start with the sphere so let's delete the cube by pressing delete and then shift A to add. That can also be found down here in the add menu but shift A is the shortcut and let's add a UV sphere. And of course it goes where my cursor is clicked and I want it to go into the center. So if I press N, I can get the location properties, click on all these and press zero and make sure it's in the center. Make things a bit easier. So you can see it's got flat shading because you can see all the edges. If I go into edit mode, those are the edges and you can clearly see them. So if I now go over to smooth shading, it makes it all smooth. So that's fairly basic and straightforward. You've got smooth shading and flat shading. These only appear when you're in object mode. So if I tab into edit mode, you can see they disappear and in object mode, they come back. So that's the simple way to make things smooth just by clicking on smooth over there. Okay, so let's delete that and then add a cube. I'm gonna click in the middle this time so my cube appears in the middle. Shift A, cube, and there's my cube. Now obviously this wants flat shading, but if I press smooth, you can see the effect it has. It tries to make all the edges smooth and it looks rather odd. So it's very likely your models will not be all smooth or all flat unless you're doing a sort of low poly style with flat shading. Let's delete this and add a cylinder this time. Shift A mesh cylinder. And this is a good example of a shape that I want some of it smooth, these edges here, and some of it flat shading, this edge here. So if I go smooth now, it's trying to smooth out the whole thing and that doesn't work. So what we have to do, and this is the best way I've found because it works when you export your model as well, is to go across to what's called the object data panel. It's this sort of triangle with three dots in, and you click on auto smooth. And just underneath auto smooth, there's an angle. And that's quite useful. You can set it to 30 degrees and that's great. It works for most things. And so the angle between these two edges here, or faces, is greater than 30 degrees. So I'll explain that in a bit clearer. I'll change this to 90 degrees. And you can see as soon as I change it to 90 degrees, this 90 degree angle, there becomes smooth. And if I bring it down, it becomes sharp. So you can see it's taking the degree of your edge and making it sharp. Now this is a good way, but it's not the best way. The best way is just to take this all the way up to 180 and go into edit mode, select your edge that you want to be sharp. If I want all these edges, I select Alt and right click, and that will select an edge loop. And then if I go down here, mesh edges, and then mark sharp. That will now make it a sharp angle. It's also highlighted blue to tell you that it's sharp. You can clear that in the same menu just underneath with clear sharp. So now we can see that the top is sharp but the bottom isn't. So let's do that once more. So alt click, alt right click and I'm going to go the shortcut this time. Control E for the edge menu, mark sharp. And these sharp edges are picked up by other programs like game engines so you won't have any problems when you export. In the next episode, I'll be testing this out by creating a chess piece. And in further episodes, we'll go into more realistic smoothing with the subdivision surface modifier. Thanks for watching.